Hello, 大家好，欢迎回到外媒看中国，我是安博然。After months without being seen in public, followed by the hilarious release by the royal family of photoshopped images that had to then be deleted by the media, public speculation over the health of Kate Middleton, the Princess of Wales, is now being blamed on none other than you guess it, China. British state media, after running with headlines like "fakey Katie," now feel bad about their months of pressure on the 42-year-old after she announced she is battling cancer. So, what better to do than blame the whole thing on Britain's adversaries? But the hilarious thing is that ordinary Brits are not having it. I also asked some of my Chinese followers what they think of the accusation. Their responses coming up near the end of this video. This is reports on China. I'm Andy Boham in Shanghai. Let's get reporting. Kate Middleton, the Princess of Wales, was last seen at a major public event on Christmas Day three months ago. The next the public knew was three weeks later when the royals announced she had been admitted to hospital on January 16. The next day, the palace said she had undergone successful abdominal surgery. Fast forward to February seven, and all of a sudden, William is back at work alone, attending an event with Tom Cruise. On February eighteen, he attended the BAFTA Awards again without Kate. Now, following increased public speculation, the palace made an announcement on February twenty nine, more than two months after she was last seen. That Kate was doing well, but it wasn't until Mother's Day on March 10 that speculation about the well-being of the princess really kicked up in the UK. It was on that day that the official Twitter account of the Prince and Princess of Wales released this message and photo, signed off by C for Catherine. The issue? Well, it was pretty soon discovered by members of the public that the photo was digitally manipulated. Sparking a massive backlash, widespread concern about the well-being of Kate, and media retractions of an officially released royal photo that had never been seen before. The Associated Press, Reuters, Getty Images, and more all ordered the photo to be retracted. The next day, another post signed off by C apologized about the image on Twitter. Like many amateur photographers, I do occasionally experiment with editing. I wanted to express my apologies for any confusion the family photograph we shared yesterday caused. I hope everyone celebrating had a very happy Mother's Day. British media came down hard, with one tabloid running with the headline "Fakey Katie." That led to Kate announcing to the public on March 22 that, unfortunately, she had been diagnosed with cancer. As you can imagine, this led to a lot of people on Twitter and in the media feeling bad for the pressure they'd put on the princess, which led to their amazing plan: let's blame Britain's adversaries. And I'm not even joking. The Daily Telegraph came out with this headline: "China and Russia behind slurs on princess," which accused them of creating disinformation online in order to destabilize British society. The Independent came out with a report titled. Kate Middleton conspiracy theories fueled by China, Russia, and Iran after cancer diagnosis, which goes on to admit that this all comes from one unnamed official who said there is possibly involvement from Britain's adversaries. In fact, the entire piece doesn't mention one single example of what China is meant to have supposedly done. What happened to journalism in the UK? Good morning, Britain. Also ran with it, posting the accusation on Twitter with a video. Let's take a quick look. Well, we know that the, in the past, countries have tried to interfere and influence elections. It now it seems that the royal family, and in particular the Princess of Wales, have been targeted as well. But in the last few weeks, we haven't just had conspiracy theories, have we? There have been very cruel and sometimes very inhumane comments. Now, some of these, it is being suggested, the worst of it may well have been originated from propaganda machines in countries such as Russia,、uh, China, and also Iran、uh, as well. Okay. Well, the amazing thing is that Twitter acts as kind of an unfiltered public square, so we can see underneath that video what ordinary Brits think. Jonathan said, "Codswallop, 
The conspiracy meltdown about the royals was entirely of its own making. Poor PR and uncontrolled speculation fueled rampant gossip. Margaret added, Oh, for God's sake, how is he able to say this stuff without bursting out laughing? Charlie Sampson said, This is pathetic. The British public asked reasonable questions. It's got nothing to do with Chinese or Russian bot accounts. How desperate. Alan added, No, there's been a collapse in British people's trust in the establishment. People have been lied to so much, they simply don't believe anything they're told anymore. Nothing to do with the Russians or the Chinese, and everything to do with you people in the legacy media. And it goes on and on and on, with literally thousands of replies. But do you know what the most ironic thing is? It's the UK that makes up and spreads rumours about China and Chinese identities, and not the other way around. Do you guys remember the drama around female tennis star Peng Shui? Check out these British headlines after she decided to lay low and stay out of the public eye. This was The Guardian who said, Prove to us Peng Shui is safe, UK urges China, where they reported, The UK government has joined the mounting chorus of concern over the apparent disappearance of tennis star Peng Shui, urging the Chinese authorities to offer verifiable evidence of her whereabouts and safety. Let's check out Sky News, who didn't believe images of the tennis star that were released were real. Sound familiar? They said, Peng Shui, UK extremely concerned about missing tennis star as new footage released. They go on, China must provide verifiable evidence that missing tennis star Peng Shui is safe, the Foreign Office has said, as Chinese state media releases more unverified footage. In the newly released video, Peng, a former Wimbledon doubles champion, is shown at the opening ceremony of a teenager tennis match final in Beijing on Sunday morning. So as you can see, it is very rich of the UK to accuse China of doing something they do themselves, and all without even going as far as to tell us what it is China did exactly. Did China Photoshop the image of Kate? Oh wait, no, that was Kate. Make it make sense, you guys. I asked my 768,000 followers on Billy Billy, one of China's most popular video apps, what they think of the accusation, and the replies were nothing short of hilarious. Most people simply asked, who? Zimashui commented, I'm not familiar with her. I care more about what I should eat tomorrow morning than the life and death of the remnants of feudalism. Another commented, They talk like she's an important figure to the people of China, Russia, and Iran. Zhu Haomang wrote, Who is she? I don't think most people care about a princess from another country. Someone else added, When we look at these things about the British royal family, We look at them with the same feeling as we look at the Kardashians. These are all pure reality shows. No one can take them seriously, let alone spread rumours. And I really liked this comment. Thanks to the relevant sources in China, Russia and Iran for letting me know that this person even exists. I could go on and on, but I think it's already pretty clear. Princess Kate is inconsequential in China. And the average Chinese couldn't care less about the British royal family. And it appears too that the days of Western media blaming everything on China are finally coming to an end. And on that note, that will be it for today, you guys. But as always, I would love to hear what you think, so do let me know down below. Also, don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.